Let's talk about what he said. Mm -hmm. uh, because he went on TV last mm -hmm. Friday yeah. and said, first of all, it never happened. Period, mm -hmm. end of report. Mm -hmm. This okay. did not happen. He did say that in his view, accusers should start off with the presumption that they're telling the truth. Do you think he's afforded you that presumption? No. I mean, it's been stunning, actually, how the, the some of his surrogates with the blue checks, you know, that are his surrogates have been saying really horrible things about me and to me on social media. Um, he hasn't himself, but there's a measure of hypocrisy with the campaign saying it's safe. It's not been safe. You know, all my social media has been hacked. All my personal information has been dragged through. Every person that maybe has a you know, a gripe against me, an ex-boyfriend or an ex-landlord or whatever it is, has been able to have a platform rather than me. Um, talking about things that have nothing to do with 1993, like even the whole thing with being called a Russian agent, that in particular, um, that incites people. People actually, I got a death threat from that because they thought I was being a traitor to America. And I mean, these are serious things. Like, and his campaign, is taking this position that they want all women to be able to speak safely. I have not experienced that. If he's watching this, mm -hmm. what do you want to say to him? I want to say, you and I were there, Joe Biden. Please step forward and be held accountable. You should not be running on character for the President of the United States. You want him to withdraw? I wish he would, but he won't, but I wish he would. That's how I feel emotionally. Do you want an apology? I think it's a little late. Team, subscribe for more of these type of videos.